after my last video, you know I told you that I needed to make some upgrades to the Avid. And uh, super stoked, super excited. Today I am making those upgrades and I wanted to bring you along to it. So first, let me tell you a little bit about where I am right now. So right now I'm running the Nanco 21 inch wheels. Uh, they're 10 inches wide, excuse me, 12 inches wide. And they do great for staying on top of the sand because they're so wide, but they're not really as tall as I need to be. As you know from following along on this channel, I do a lot of backcountry flying, off airport, on the sandbars of the river, on the beaches, and as you saw in my last video, uh, my tire size got me in a little bit of a bind. Now listen, I'm not saying it was all tire problems because I had a lot to do with it. My excessive braking, hitting the ruts in the sand, small tire diameter, not flying with a proper weight and balance, all those things combined to have the uh, incident that took place. But we're going to start fixing that today. We're getting some big tires put on it. And I'm gonna say today loosely because I've got about an hour and a half before the local tire shop closes. I don't have the uh, proper stuff in the hangar to break the bead on these tires quickly and get them put back on. Uh, Daniel is still out of town working, so I'm gonna take them down to Georgia Tire and hopefully they'll put them on for me. If so, we should be in business this afternoon. Worst case scenario, we'll finish up tomorrow. So this is the Nanco tires that I was working with. That's what it looks like today. But let me tell you about what I upgraded to. Um, I have an eight inch rim or eight inch tire on the Avid, so I didn't want to have to swap out my tire and everything. So I looked online and found that, you know, before I had the 22 inch Aero Classic Tundra tires and I absolutely loved them. When I upgraded my brakes, I upgraded to these eight inch wheels. That's what led me to the Nanco. All that being said, Desser makes an Aero Classic 27 and a half inch tire, and that's what I've upgraded to. And that's what we're putting on today, so it'll look a little different. For instance, let me show you. So this is what it looks like right now, but here in just a little bit, this is the tire that's going on it. <laughs> hey, and I'm excited about it. I like to be resourceful, and I currently do not have a lift to, uh, pull up the side of the tire wheel when we swapped out the brakes and the tires previously at Kenneth's house he actually had a lift that worked perfect I don't have one in the hangar um, so being resourceful as I am I do have some uh, concrete blocks yeah so I'm gonna use those to stack under my Grove gear I've got a bottle jack that I'll pick uh, the airplane up with Secure it in the back so the tail doesn't wobble, and I hope, I hope that gets me uh, set up. So here goes nothing. All right, I got the tires off. I think in just enough time to make it to the tire store if they'll squeeze me in. So come on, Georgia Tire, don't let me down now. It is 10,000 degrees hot. Georgia Tire is always good to me, so I am hoping that uh, they close in like 30 minutes. I'm hoping they'll squeeze me in. And uh, I wouldn't think it would take them but five or 10 minutes to put these tires on the rim. But I realize I'm jumping in at the end of the day and that may not work out for them. But I'm gonna try at least. We're gonna try to get this knocked out today. If they will put the tires on today, I will be uh, ready to test fly this thing within the hour. So I'm hoping <laughs> that they're going to hook me up. I'm in business, boys. They got me hooked up. Before, I was in hustle mode, man. I was trying my best to uh, get there before Georgia Tire closes. They were nice enough to squeeze me in, um, even though it was last minute, right near closing time. But if y'all are from the area, you know that Georgia Tire always does a good job at their customer service, so I'm happy. And uh, now I can kind of slow down a little bit. Ooh, I mean, holy smokes. Old tire, new tire. That's crazy. Right, now that I can take a minute and breathe for a second because uh, I made it to Georgia Tire in time enough and 
Thank you, Georgia Tire, for helping me uh, get going. Hughes actually just stopped by to check on my fuel and um, asked me a couple good questions. So worth mentioning, uh, why the tire upgrade? To your backcountry pilots, you get it. Larger diameter tire uh, means one, adds that much more squish to my landings to uh, smoothen everything out. Number two, um, all the, <laughs> obviously, tire ruts and dips and stuff in the bar. Now this gives me a little bit more insurance policy to have a much larger diameter to be able to roll over that kind of stuff. And last but not least, the prop clearance. Having this additional almost six inches uh, of lift will give me that much more clearance. I mean, at this point, we'll measure it, I guess, if I've got something to measure it with. But after I get these new Aero Classic 27 and a half inch tires on it i'm betting i would almost have to nose the plane completely over and do a nose dive to hit the prop so um i am too excited about this so we're gonna hop to it try to get these bad babies on and take it for a test flight let's go and she is oh she is ready to go I'm gonna put the other tire on and then I'm gonna taxi this bad baby around and see what it looks like. I don't know how I'll do this, but I'm gonna try. Oh, this ain't gonna work. Mm. I'm gonna need some help. All right, so I didn't account for just how big these tires were. I mean, they looked big when they were flat, but once you put air in them, <laughs> they are massive for the avid and uh while that's gonna be a lot of fun my bottle jack and my jack system i have set up here is at max height and uh i still can't get enough ground clearance to get the new tire on on the one side so i'm gonna take a break luckily curtis was on his way home from uh, work he's gonna swing by and hopefully lift up this wing right here so I can get the tire put on and literally it takes I'm five minutes from being done I just need some some help to getting it there so I'm gonna go get some water and uh, wait on Curtis now there's definitely I think a lot of pros to getting these bigger tires are the couple cons that I'm worried about one is weight uh, the Nanco tires weigh probably around 14 pounds these tires weigh 20 pounds so about six pounds or so per tire i'm gaining an extra 12 pounds which isn't terrible um because i do most flying by myself and avid anyway so no big deal the other thing is um i am going to i'm sure lose airspeed and i already fly slow enough so it'll be interesting to see uh, what my airspeed is in cruise now again the pros are i'm gaining um clearance for my prop against the ground and any obstacles. I'm also increasing now my angle of attack, so trying to get off the bars short. Um, I'll now have a bigger bite to get out of the air with that extra angle of attack. And the insurance with just the bigger tires being able to roll through and over uh, rougher terrain. So there are definitely a couple of cons, but I think the pros probably outweigh it. I kept my Nanco tires just in case for some reason um, I fly these things and I don't like them, I can always trade them out. Now I don't see that happening because I am tickled already just with the appearance of it. And let's be honest, the appearance of it is half the battle. And um, right now I'm tickled with how it looks. So now we just need to get them put on and see how they fly.
Man, so if you look at it, like I said, I'm 5'11", six foot, I stand up straight, and uh, the cowling for the Avid is now right up here to my mouth. And used to, if I was checking the oil or whatever, I could set stuff right here about my chest level on the cowling and uh, rock on. Um, funny thing is now is that uh, here, used to, I just kind of stepped right here and slid in. Now, I actually got to climb up in there. Erica's on the way with supper. When Erica gets here, we'll uh, watch her climb up in this thing. I am stoked. That test run I just did, the landing, the, the amount of softness that this thing gives my landing is a uh, great, great experience. Just on a quick laps around the pattern, I didn't notice that it really reduced my um, cruise speed any. Higher angle attack, my prop is higher off the ground, better prepared for sandbars. I don't know, I just can't think of any loss here. I am excited about it. This is gonna help us with uh, some of our sandbar adventures. <laughs> and, uh, you know, as soon as this Hurricane Debbie rain gets out of here. And uh, man, we're gonna be set. Look, look at that. Oh, and that thing's just pretty. around here. <laughs> Whoa! Those tires used to be there. They're here now. I know. Isn't it oh, so big? Yeah. Aren't they so huge? Yeah. So I could tell that uh, the big difference when I tried to climb in, so we're going to see if Erica can climb in now compared to what it used to be. Uh, I'm only 4'11". <laughs> <laughs> It was especially easy, especially with the step right here. I guess you can use it as Commercial a break! <laughs> All right, there you have it. We did, uh, got the tires put on, did a test run, and I am extremely uh, impressed with the results I've got. We got a cool camping trip coming up, so I think you'll enjoy that. Hurricane Debbie put a lot of water in the river, so we gotta let that drain back out so we can go camping. But um, with that being said, it's about to start cooling down some and then we can get out and start doing some adventures and just having a good time camping. But until then, 